it's got to break down. So Ninja Star, okay, we're going. Let's start from uh, Cartwell, please. Okay. Yeah. Go Cartwell in. Spin around. Okay, you're spinning a lot of this stuff, right? Remember, it's the same thing we did earlier. You can fall this way. Feet down, hands down. There's, there's so much lateral throwing back and forth. And you, with one leg cross pressing and squatting, and constantly trying to keep it back in the middle, that more than likely I've seen falls back and forth this way, okay? Because you're throwing the weight back sense, and yeah. forth. So be mindful of that. You could also fall back this way. You can fall so many ways. Um, you can't really predict, but because it's lateral, it's a lot of this stuff, and it's midlining and one legged stuff, so likely this way. But if you do fall forward, it's all about being mindful when you fall. You got you got to fly a little scared, like you could fall at any time. You trust Sammy, but you're also trusting yourself to be able to take that fall. So when you fall, bring that foot down, be mindful. It's, it's about reacting. Okay. And the more times you can fall in practice with a spotter or with mats, then you can feel confident doing it without. Okay. Um, so let's work on the techniques. Heart rolling in. Okay, remember how we got it back up to bird here? This little side bird? Here's the spin uh, to reverse bird. Once you have this nice opposite balance here, this hand needs to let go and I need to grab this behind my leg here while still balancing on one leg here, okay? So Sammy, for this one, your leg's got to be locked because if you do this, it's going to be a lot of squat, okay? And we'll turn to reverse bird. Last time we did reverse, just reverse bird, we know that we can fall forward really easily, right? So we're going to keep our weight back this way just slightly. So if you fall, she falls on her feet. Let's reverse that again. Let's do the first part one more time. You were in straddle bat. And this is definitely a hip burner. You will feel like, yes. ow, you know? Um, you'll get used to that the more kind of feet time you have. Okay. Um, but also the type of pants you wear. Maybe you want to wear some thicker. It'll rub less against you. So this will probably hurt more than like jeans or something a little thicker. So we're going to go. Um, we went back up this way to bird. So I dropped this hip, right? And then I pushed up opposite hands. Here comes the hard part. How do you balance this to let go long enough to go around to catch? And this foot here catches parallel to the leg and to reverse bird. Okay, that's the first part. One more time and then we'll walk out to the second part later. Back to straddle one more time. I'm dropping this knee. I'm pushing off the opposite hand really strong. Coming up. I squat it. I press my legs to straight now. This foot, because the toes turn in, it makes it easy to turn. You actually have to use the foot here, Sam, to turn. You're yeah. turning and then you're catching. There. And you wouldn't keep our legs a little close to our face, not too far this way, because you should fall forward. Back this way a bit, so if she falls, you're down here. One more time, and let me give, see if I can give one more tip to how to make that turn easier. Okay. okay. Over, catch, up. Okay, my middle of my foot is right on your hip bone. Yeah, okay, so I can actually use this hand. It's like, let me stay in couch first. It's more relaxing. I can use that hand kind of like, like in dancing where you're guiding, just like a lasso. You take this hand, you whip it around, turn your flyer around. So we're connected here. We're connected behind. I'm using the hand to turn you around to catch you here. And down. <laughs> So a lot of verbal communication yeah. too, because you'll fall a lot here. Get ready to fall, get ready to bring your feet and hands down. And then